okay guys hey Ghana today we are going to replace VVT sprocket for a one ZZ FE engine I think one ZZ FE G works with the Corolla matrix Zion vibe and pointy yes one ZZ FE so as you can see this is the the VVT cam brand new one I bought which I'm going to replace it today yes I think it's the, the updated nut that goes inside the the camshaft so don't throw it away or replace with the old one use the updated nut that comes with it when you buy it and this is the sprocket the vvt sprocket yes okay so as you can see that's the vvt sprocket it's in the lock position but it doesn't matter you can install it either in lock or unlock yes so that's a brand new one okay guys so let's get it inside the engine we are going to remove this the coil the harness we want to get the cover out so we are going to move the negative battery in case you don't want any sparks around so we want to get into the the camshaft so we are going to move all these things off move the valve cover then we get inside the camshaft yes then now that time we can turn the engine to tdc and start removing the exhaust before we get into the intake camshaft yes okay so engine cover is off now that's the intake cam the one we want to replace that's the exhaust so now what we are going to do is we are going to turn the engine to tdc or oh, let the mark come into alignment so we are going to turn it by manually clockwise for the all the markings to meet it after that you are going to remove the tensioner to 10 volt tensioner that is right here that holds the timing chain yes we will remove it so we can have a loose chain and after that too you will have a bungee cord or anything that can hold the chain as you are going to remove the exhaust to get to the intake cam anything that will hold the chain as the tensioner is removed so that the chain doesn't fall off because it is fall off it's going to remove from the crankshaft and we don't want that we want to maintain it, the tension so you just have to have in it something that will hold here and there so that it will suspend it as we work on the intake cam so guys we are going to turn the engine to tdc remove the tensioner and get right into it guys we had to remove the the tight for us to get some leverage so that we can turn the crankshaft and that's the crankshaft this is a 19 so we are going to manually turn it so it's have a timing alignment here yes so we are going to turn it so we have a timing alignment yes it's going to be a little hard because the because of the compression but if you want an easy way a little bit you can remove one spark plug so that the compression can have its way out so that you can you can have an easy turn of the crankshaft yeah all right guys so uh i'm having a challenge with the markings on the timing chain i'm going to show you how when you are doing yours you can just do it right away with if you are struggling with the timing marks i think my mechanic didn't structure it well like he turned it in the other way so it's not aligned with the the, the timing mark but it's it's it's, it's I'm, I'm i'm tdc now so i want to show you how you are going to do it so when you are at the tdc first the number of chains here at where my uh my pin is hitting should be eight to the exox the number of chains uh, that is aligned to each other should be eight. So I'm going to count it. Forget about the color. Forget about it. So from this line, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And eight is where the exos meet for the alignment. So that is clear. And it's top dead center. That's why you are seeing. I've removed the first spark plug. That's why you are seeing the screwdriver not able to enter it fully because 
the cylinder is at top dead center so it cannot go in case you spin it it will go inside because it will go down on the crankshaft the crankshaft will turn it down so the first one is eight here you can also see that it's hitting the top dead center so we are top dead center the third one too you see the camshaft align in upwards to each other so this is the intake camshaft you see this one is up and the exhaust this one is also up so this one is up this one is up so it means we are aligned so one this one is up two we are top dead center and three we are having eight spaces here it should be counted from here to here it should be eight counted from here to here it should be eight and the last one i'm going to show you that we are in a, a tdc or we are timed is when you check the crankshaft you see it's right alignment in zero degrees with the marking on the crankshaft pulley you see see my finger you see there is a you see there is a it's a line here and that line is aligned with the zero degrees so it means we are timed zero to the marking we are timed we are timed also at the tdc we are timed also at the lifting of the cam and we are time also even at here it says exhaust there's a pin if you check it well you see some exhaust i want to focus it for you to see yes you see right there exhaust a pin there also a line and here to here being eight so let, let me do it again for you to see so here is one two three four five six seven eight yes so we are in alignment so what we are going to do now is to remove the exhaust cam hold the chain with the band uh, anything that will hold the tensioner that will let, let it fall and remove the chain tensioner that's the 10 bolts two here so that the chain the chain can loosen okay guys so that's now it. we are in as you can see we are hold the timing chain with the metal cord just to hold it for as you can see it's holding it we have removed the holder that's this one yes the camshaft holder and the the bolts we have removed this one too as you can see we have removed it that's it sits here so we are now going to lift our cam out of it and now we place the intake yes just use your common sense as you do you'll be okay okay guys so we have removed the old one as you can see it's visible oil in it as you can see the oil is leaking here and this is a good sign if there's no oil in it it's very very dry then you know oil is not getting into the sprocket then you know we have another problem to deal with but as you can see oil is almost dripping from it so it's good yes as you can see the oil is also here as well so it means oil is getting to it, but just that the sprocket is bad. So practically, this is the new one. This is the new boat. As I said, you are going to use this new boat. But this is the refined one as per the TSB as I've attached to the page that Toyota wants you to replace the sprocket. See where the, the, the knob is here. It's going to align it to the knob. The knob here then you tighten it that's all this knob this knob i'm going to align it to here push it in tighten it with the 14 bolts that's all all right guys so our new sprocket is installed just simply like that yeah, a new sprocket. So we are going to tighten it with the this is the new bolt, updated one. Tighten it and now it goes into the car. Yeah, it's simple as now that. our new cam sprocket is installed. As you can see, it's timed. Top dead top dead center in the first pack block. Eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See the notch? yeah 
here to say is Ezos. The crown shot bearing to zero. Yeah, it's on the zero as you can see. Yeah. All right. So, uh, timing chain also installed. The timing chain tensioner, as you can see, is also installed. So now we are going to put a valve cover on. Then we start it, and that's it. Okay. After installing it, to I manually turn the engine to see if everything is working and everything was turning as well. If it doesn't turn, then there's a problem. The timing chain has fall inside, so you just have to stop everything that you are doing and open the cover here. But if it turns around and turn all the cams, then you are good. They didn't fall inside. So we are going to close it by placing the valve cover. Then we can start our car. All right, guys. Now everything is fixed. The valve cover is fixed. The coils are fixed. Everything is set. Clean up done all is good. Now we are going to go to the moment of truth. We are going to start a car and see how it felt. Let's go right inside it. Okay, so we are going to start a car. And the ignition on for a bit. You give it some two to three twice. And we can start it now. Okay. Let's go again. Okay. Start it. <laughs> 